Good afternoon and welcome to beautiful Hudson Fields up here at Hazen Union High School in downtown Hartford, Vermont. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats in action today against the Richford Rockets. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera, sponsors today, Willie's Store, 533-2621, open every day 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days breakfast all day. And i got to throw this out to Allie Gabbery. It is about peak foliage. It's going to be pretty beautiful up here. Pretty quick, isn't it, Griff? I think so. I think Allie, I heard Allie likes my commentary on the foliage. So, <laughs> uh, Lady Cats coming in uh, after being on the road for quite a while. Um, still looking for that elusive first win. They have a record of 0-6, but I'll tell you, they've been in the last few games that they played. They've kept it close and uh, doing good. They lost 2-1 to Oxbow. They lost 2-1 to Richford in their last two games. Uh, first game after a four-game road trip. They played at PA, at Enosburg, at Richford, and at Oxbow. Now welcoming the Richford Rockets here to the friendly confines of Hudson Fields. Looking for that win and uh, could come today. Um, we're hoping, right? Yep. Um, I, what I've heard from Coach Bissett is that they have a pretty good chance. He likes the way they're playing. He likes the matchup here. So hopefully we can get it done. Richford coming in with a record of 2-4. and four. Opening tip moments away on a beautiful day for soccer. Here we go. Ball tip back. Try and match up some names and numbers with everybody here. It's been so long since we've seen the girls play. I might have to look at them too. Carly Archambault down below us on the throw in for the Rockets. Goes it up ahead. That's going to be cleared back. Or attempting to clear it back is Bethany Conway. Archambault on a throw once again. Picked off by Gabriella Stanchu. Finally got a pronunciation on her last name. Stanchu. Stanchu. And I got it from her mom, too, so I know it's right. Ball headed back out by Alexis Christensen. Throw in. That was Elizabeth Snyder. I did not see who booted that one out. I was looking down at my program. Was it Zoe, number 12? I believe it was number 12. It would be Zoe Hislop. Throw in. Archambault. Looking to cross, Zoe there along with Conway, I believe that was. Conway, a freshman, on the throw in. Zoe clears that one up through. Blocked down by Richford. Back in, here's Zoe trying to make things happen. Aiden. Carr gets it over here on the near side. Stanchu moves up. Taken away by Nicole Cunningham. I don't, unfortunately, I don't have grades with the Richford players. I can't tell what uh, grade they're in, but I remember the, the name Cunningham from previous years, I think. Stanchu trying to break Riley Steinauer, trying to break up that pass. Throw in Conway. Aiden Carr chips it ahead. That's that's a that was a true chip. Yep, I agree. That was Elizabeth Snyder cross far side. Lily Castles. Made of sand, right? Did we say castles made of sand? Castles in the air? It's the, the Hendrix tune. Castles made of sand. Castles made of sand, I believe, yes. Hey, if I can sneak a Hendrix, you know, quote into a uh, soccer game, I'd say that's pretty darn good. Ball, center field. Team sort of uh, 
neither one able to mount a huge bit of an attack yet. Stanchu back. Snyder up ahead. Zoe gets it out. Archambault gives chase back up. Comes Stanchu. Aiden. Car back over to Stanchu. Playing on her was uh, Nicole Cunningham. Cunningham with the throw in. Goes to Archambault. Bounces back. Aiden Carr, center. We have number six. I don't know who number 16 is for us. I have it listed as Emily Kimball, but she's the little red machine in goal. So I'm going to have to find out who number 16 is for us. Ball goes through. Richford gives chase. Zoe back on her horse. See if I can get a text off across the way to John Sperry here as we... Here's Aiden Carr. Aiden Carr through the middle. Is that Christensen? Alexis Christensen. Over on the far side, working in. That was Maverick Murphy trying to move the ball ahead. Maverick sticking with her wingman over there. <laughs> Corner kick for the Lady Cats. Ball curls in the middle. There's a play. Cassidy Cochran, I believe, if that was a number five I saw. A far different day today, Griff, than yesterday for the boys' game. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> Kinda, chilly by the end of the game. It was definitely autumnish. This, I guess, would be a nice Indian summer because it is officially fall now, correct? Uh, yeah. Fall fell on, on Monday, I believe. That's right. That's right. Corner kick back in. Cochran has it. Tried to get the foot on it. Back out. Actually, it was a Richford player that kicked it back out. Corner kick one more time. Cross short. Murphy got kind of shoved out of the way there by Emma Raymond. Shoulder to shoulder, though. Hayes in defense back as that one got by him. Joey back, tries to knock it outside. Richard player on her. Joey trying. Back in, Lily. Castle's made of sand, tries to get it back out. There's Joey. Back up midfield. Couple of defenders back. Ball still kept in. High spinner once again. Trapped down by the Richard player. That was Riley Steinauer with a nice trap. Zoe, back up through, turn. Maverick Murphy. Richford right there. Number 16 over on our side of the field and I still can't quite figure out who she is. Waiting to get clarification from John. Richard goes up against Aiden Carr. Riley Stenauer. Throw in. Archambault. Stanchu there to trap that one. Plays it back up the middle. Aiden Carr. Turn. A little bit of a give and go with Christensen looking up ahead for Cochran. 
booted out with authority. Snyder going to have a maybe get a chance here. Nope, Zoe there to knock that one away. Zoe makes another play. Snyder, ball on. Joey can't quite get the foot on it. Nice play turned by Elizabeth Snyder. Joey with the goal kick. Curls up through, makes it to the middle. Back in by Richford, though. Richford doing a nice job of keeping this in. Murphy. Christensen knocks that one up. Defense there. Carr. Up ahead. Save. Austin Archambault. Christensen. Cochran. Had a player offside. She's back on now. Cleared out. Into the bushes by Riley Steinhammer. Throw in Lady Cats. Played about 10 minutes of this first half. Christensen going to take the throw. Looking ahead, here's Cochran. And you know what I think would be fascinating, Griff? We have Harry come up for the second half of games when he's done practice. I would love to have Kyle Bursing come up once the boys are done practicing. I've mentioned it to him. Uh in fact, uh, the boys, I see a lot of the boys down here, so I wonder if they're done. You've mentioned it, but... Uh, He's um, got a, uh, what is she, about 18-month-old right now? Uh, okay, Cochran goes by, looking for the cross. Cassidy Cochran knocked out by Steinauer. Yeah, so Coach Bursting, he likes to spend as much time as ho at home as possible. Don't blame him. We'll give him a pass on that one. Maybe we could get him up for one of the homecoming games, though. That would be. I think it would be fascinating. I think it would be uh, great, yeah. His take on things. Hazen with the corner kick. They've had a plethora of them here in this first half. Let's see if we can convert. Ball curls into the middle. Knocked out with authority by Cameron Boyce. I believe that is over there. If I'm seeing a 21 on the back of her jersey. Joey Hall up. Turn back. Ball's ahead. Here's Madison Bartlett gives chase. Couldn't quite catch up with it, but that was some nice footwork right there. Madison Bartlett got her first career varsity goal against Oxbow last Friday. Very exciting play. We heard Harry give the breakdown of it last night. Joey, middle of the field, taken down. Moeller up ahead. Can't you get the boot in? No. Defense there to take her out. Aiden Carr goes over to take yet another corner kick for the Lady Cats. A little bit of a design play. We've seen a couple of these this year, this far. Offsides. Kind of back to Christensen. Christensen back to Carr, but we had another player offsides, or maybe it was Carr that was offsides. I'm not sure. But Either way, first time they've tried it. I'm sure that's one that Coach Bissett will continue to work on, though.
Okay, if I'm reading this correctly, number 16 for us is, I'm going to pronounce it just the way it's spelled, Bai Tao Du, an exchange student. So we'll just call her Du. How's that? I'd like to give the girls credit. Carly Archambault playing against Madison Bartlett. Archambault goes down. Bartlett back up too. She's double tough. The Spitfire, as I call her. Throw in Conway. Looking for Bartlett. Played back. Olivia Hatch there with Bartlett. Ball rolls out. Blue throw. Stanchu with the throw. And Griff, we have a rare illegal throw in call. Somebody's been watching our broadcast, huh? Obviously. <laughs> Richford throw in. Blue throw. Conway with a chance to redeem herself. Balls up through. Bartlett, she can get a foot on it. Can't, though. Steinauer back. Carr towards the middle. Knocked back out by Snyder. Here's Zoe. Nice play. Zoe Hislop. Ball rolls right up through. Just keeps on a rolling. Steinauer gives chase. We're going to have a blue throw over here in the corner. Stanchu with the throw in. Macy Muller traps down. Looking to work around the defense. Crosses over right in the middle. Oh, Cochran was right there. Goalie had dived. Cassidy could have got a foot on that. Would have been an easy goal. Couldn't quite get the foot on it, though. Archambault committed way early on that one. Lily Castle throw in. Bartlett trying to work against Steinauer. Bartlett to the outside. Goins gets it by Archambault. Madison Bartlett to the inside. Macy Muller there. Nice give back to Bartlett. Ball rolls out. We're going to have a blue throw just narrowly stayed on the inside of the flag. Otherwise, we'd have had the corner. Stanchu on the throw. Looks for Moeller. Goal kick. <laughs> kind of quiet down here without Jimmy here today, isn't it? <laughs> That's like, right. I keep waiting for the crowd. Coach Bellavance to... Spur his Lady Cats on. I say coach and jest, but Jimmy's a good guy. A diehard at, at Hazen Sporting Events, so I wonder, if, wonder where he is today. Lily Castle, middle of the field. Nice trap play down by Jordan Jacobs. Jacobs. Goes in, gets it by Joey. Played back out, gets by Conway. There's Zoe on the near side. Stanchu. Got to get on something going here. Archambault right there, back inside. Jacobs working against Aiden Carr. That little spin move. Zoe, high spinner. Steinauer against Bartlett. Allie Gabbery checks into the game, cast and all. Nursing a broken knuckle, suffered in a scrum in front of the goal at the Oxbow game where she uh, went in and played a great half of goal, a great second half of goal against Oxbow. 
Here's Richford moving up once again. Three players there, two of them for Hazen go down. Archambault up, ready for the throw in. Chipped out by Zoe Hislop. Archambault drops back. Jacobs, long cross the field. Macy Moeller there, gonna try and get the turn on that one. Middle of the field, knocked down. Cochran. Moeller looking ahead, Aiden Carr. Can't quite get the play. Cleared out. I believe that's Holly Raymond that cleared that one out. Snyder, Elizabeth Snyder gets it by Gabbery. Carr collides with her. Trading a little paint out there. Carr, nice play on the ricochet. Gets it back. Ball kicked up by Cameron Boyce. Jacobs taken back out by. Let's see if Cassidy can get by over there shoulder to shoulder with Holly Raymond. Aiden Carr up through, cleared out by Raymond. Here's Macy Moeller, and she's off sides. Cassidy Cochran off by about two steps, I'd say. I could see that coming from up here. Nineteen seventeen left in the first half. No score yet. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats against the Richford Rockets today. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Here's a race to the ball. Zoe Hislop wins that one. Brings it back out. Turn. Stanchu. Sponsors today. Willie Store, 533-2621. Open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Hardwick Village Restaurant. Open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Seven days. Breakfast all day. Griff on camera on a just a spectacular early fall day. Christensen gets a shot wide, working against Holly Raymond over there. It's a tough assignment. What do you see so far, Griff? I'm, I'm sort of encouraged with what I'm seeing. We're, we're winning some battles at midfield, getting some shots on goal. Yeah, we've got a lot of possession. Uh, passes are connecting. Uh, we're doing really well in midfield, but also really, really uh, staunch in defense. And uh, uh, hopefully we can keep this up and convert some of these opportunities. I like that staunch on defense. Have we used that <laughs> term yet? I don't know. We're trying to know open up our vocabulary yeah. a little bit here. Stout and thwart and all this stuff. I like that. <laughs> they have a staunch defense today. Joey boots it up ahead. Aiden Carr back on that one. Christensen gives chase, but there is Cameron Boyce to bring that one up. Zoe. It's it back to middle field. Aiden Carr over. Macy Moeller here on the near side. Gets it by Steinauer. Stay on side, ladies. Taken away. By Holly Raymond, we got a handball. Ali Gabari on the free kick launches it right down there, and a easy save for Austin Archambault. Pitch ahead. Elizabeth Snyder working against Christensen. Christensen goes down. No whistle. The uh, varsity boys sort of coming to life a little bit over here. You know, I think that could really galvanate our girls today, too, to have the boys really get out there and cheer them on. 
shot on. An easy save for the little red machine. That and a little bit of home cooking here. Ball through, Moeller, everybody on side. Moeller's got it past the defense. She can get a shot on. Goal! Macy Moeller puts the Hazen Union Lady Cats up by a score of one to nothing on a beautiful move to get behind the defense over there. Get the shot on, and she kept it low and outside. Just like coach says. Just like the coach says. Macy Moeller, the junior, Macy the male girl, she delivers the first goal of the game. 15-58 left to go here in the first half. Lady Cats up one zip. Beautiful play. Nice goal. Rockets put one on, Kimball down. The little red machine. She has improved her punting skills, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, that's. I, that I was, was just going to mention that, yeah. First few games, uh, you could tell she was still kind of figuring it all out, but, man, that was a great punt. Moeller over to Christensen. Moeller, ball up through, cleared out by Raymond. Cochran with her. Maybe I did it too soon. It's not cleared out yet. Cochran back inside, trying to get a foot on it. Ball's still there for the picking. Now cleared out by, Stein, by uh, Raymond. Stanchu, near side. Locked down, handball on Olivia Hatch. Cats will have the free kick. Gabbery. Right to Archambault. Varsity boys encouraging Alley to just shoot it. Good to hear. Good to see. Ooh. Wow. Gabbery goes up. Trying to head that one. We've got the Richford player still down. That is Madeline Pike, and she is calling for a sub. Or is she waving off a sub now? Went down kind of hard. Kind of on her nose. Back up. Free kick. Cameron Boyce with the free kick. Taken down. Joey. Pitches up, looks for Moeller. Moeller gets by. Cleared by Snyder. Ali Gabry swing and a miss. But it was a mighty swing. Stanchu, nice, nice chip over to Aiden Carr. Christensen over on the far side. Showing some nice speed chasing that one down. Car over. Ball goes under Cochran's foot. Conway, Stanchu. Over in the middle, Moeller. With time. A couple of blue shirts there, but they can't, they didn't quite, weren't quite turned in the right direction. Joey Hall trying working over there against the Richford player. Ball goes out. Going to have a corner kick. Twelve twenty-five left to go in the first half. Once again, your Lady Cats leading by a score of one nothing on a goal by Macy the Mail Girl. Macy Muller delivers a goal, gives us the lead. Shot wide. Snyder, I believe, with the shot on that one. Go, 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 go. 
Gabbery, middle of the field, taken down by Richford. Zoe Hislop out with that one. Maverick Murphy back in the game. Madison Bartlett right there looking for Moeller. Moeller back over to Bartlett. Cleared out by Richford. Boyce. Maverick. Oh, we're kind of going back and forth here. Joey turns, gets it over. She's looking on his side. Nice trap down by Moeller. Was looking to get it to Stantry. Moeller up ahead now. Here's Christensen. Moeller. Richford player goes down. Moeller in once again. A little bit of a shot on, but an easy save for Archibald with a rolled wide anyway. Nice play by Conway to bring that one down. Up ahead, almost got it through to Christensen. She was there waiting. Stanchu with the throw in. Subs coming in, Gabbery going off, and I believe this is Aiden Carr coming back in. Throw in, Moeller taken out. Ball left behind by the Richard player. Moeller, there in the middle. Here's Bartlett. Can she get a foot? No, it's still loose in there. I believe we had an offsides, but boy. Thought we were going to get a two goal lead, Griff. It was pretty close. Get it? They got it right inside where they want it. Maverick looking for permission for a flyby, but the pattern was full. <laughs> Infraction called on uh, Storbrotten, I believe is her last name. Aiden Carr, free kick. 8.47 left to go in the first half. Stanchu trying to come down with that one. Here to the corner. Duking it out, Stanchu can get a foot on it. Joey Hall, down the middle. Moeller trying to come down with it. And these girls do those Lord of the Dance moves better than the guys. Have you notice that, Griff? <laughs> trying lot, to fake out something. Yeah, a lot of feet moving to spins. I've seen a couple of those. There's Moeller trying to turn around. She goes over in the corner. I think it's going to stop before it rolls out of bounds, though. Moeller gives chase. Nice save by the Richford player. Unfortunately, Muller right there. Or fortunate for us, let's say. And uh, there is Cameron Boyce trying to make a play and unfortunately knocks it into her own net. Trying to make a play. 7.55 left to go in the first half. Gives the Lady Cats a 2-0 lead. In her defense, it looked like if she didn't get a foot on that, it was right in front of Madison and she mm -hmm. was going to score. So, And I can completely empathize with her because that has happened to Joey twice this season. And, yeah, you're just out there trying to make a play. So, And as Harry said, better to make the play and, you know, attempt to make a play at least than stand there and let, let your team get scored on. So. That's right. That's right. Just an unfortunate event. Bottom line, Lady Cats up to zip now. It was some good play to lead up to that. It, it was. That wasn't an unforced error. That was, yeah. you know, some good play. 
Lola of. gets by looking for Christensen. Holly Raymond working against Stanchu. Stanchu on a throw in. Yeah, with some great passing, some nice ball movement to get the ball over into the middle there. Lined up for that shot, if you want to call it. Carr, middle of the field. Archambault, save. Bartlett once again in the area. Madison Bartlett, the little sniper, we'll call her. Richford moving up through. We're going to have a corner kick. 6.20 left to go here in the first half. Lady Cats lead two zip over the Richford Rockets. Cross blocked back out. Lady Cats travel to Danville this coming Saturday for a game. Then next Tuesday, they will host Enosburg. And then Saturday, October 5th, they will be playing Fairfax at 1.30 for homecoming. And the boys will be playing at 4.30 that day as well for homecoming. And I don't think, I think they're playing a different opponent, if I remember right. Two different schools teams are going to be coming I believe here. so. I, I could be wrong, but I, I almost remember seeing it on the schedule. Yeah, because we've already played Fairfax here. That was the double overtime thriller. That's right. One of the, the over oh, the, that was the double, double overtime, overtime thriller. Double overtime thriller, yeah. As opposed to the single overtime yeah, thriller. Yeah, that exactly. We also had. The boys have played a lot of soccer this year. Storbrotten, back, middle. Cunningham. Working. Here's Snyder. Puts a shot on. The little red machine. And I did ask Joey last night. Emily loves being called the little red machine. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Ooh, block down. That had to hurt. That's Maverick. Maverick. Hurt with that shot into the solar plexus over there. She took a hard one point blank from Cameron Boyce. And let's hope she's okay. Could sprain a giblet over there or something. Cassidy Cochran back in. Cochran. Try to turn. <laughs> Throw in. Lily, castle's made of sand. I have to look up a couple of lyrics to that song. I, I About the only lyric I know is the castle's made of sand. <laughs> Joey trying to contain to the outside, trying not to let her get the turn to cross. Sticking with her. Can't see who the Richford player is. I think it's Jacobs if I recognize the brace on the knee. Ball up, middle. There was a little bit of a daylight there for a shot for a moment. Defense closed down. Blocked out. Stanchu right there along with uh, Bethany Conway. Corner kick for the Rockets. Elizabeth Snyder. Through turn. Oh, Snyder going to try and float one across once again. That's high and high. Just straight up high. High. Straight up I in thought the it was going to say high and wide, but it was just high up over the top of the net. But I'll tell you, uh, Abigail Adams there 
couldn't quite get the body around to get the right angle on that shot, but she had one there for a split second. Maddie Bartlett. Cochran trying to make something happen here. Stanchu. Nice little touch pass over to Cochran. Stanchu. A little chip into the middle. You don't see too many chunks in the girls' game, do you? Yeah. yeah that, was, that, was, that was pretty close. That was close to a chunk. Cochran. Back up. That's due in the middle. Oh, girl was ready. She thought Conway was going to belt it. You could see Nicole Cunningham getting ready for what she thought was going to be a hard ball. Storbrotten. Ball over towards the middle. Defense back. Joey back to the outside. Zoe gives chase. It's going to roll out. We're going to have a Richford corner. Now, I have a question, Griff, your soccer language. Uh, okay. I noticed at least from up here, well, let's let this corner go. Let's let Snyder. On that last throw, it looked like when the girl threw it in, her foot was on the line. Can you be in the field of play, or do you have to be out in order for the throw in? Um, I was actually, yesterday, uh, I heard the ref talking to a couple of uh, complaining he's and fans about a, th about a throw in mm -hmm. and said that, if I, if I remember correctly, said that they could be on the line as long as they weren't over the line. Okay. Because some Hazen fans noticed the same thing that you just noticed mm -hmm. about some Winooski players. You know, another person I think would be awesome to get up here with us would be Mike Clark. Give us the referee's perspective. <laughs> like I, they do in football games now? That, that'd be phenomenal to, to have him up here with his soccer knowledge and everything. Uh, uh, yeah. Aiden Carr trying to work through. And that'll be the end of the half. And your Hazen Union Lady Cats up by a score of 2 to nothing on a goal by Macy Moeller. And then it was Cameron Boyce trying to clear the ball out on a shot that both Griff and I thought uh, Cochran could have got a, a, or Bartlett could have got a foot on to get in anyways, who unfortunately knocked it into the net on her own keeper to give Hazen the 2-0 lead. So let's see if the Cats can hang on here and get that first win of the season. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days, breakfast all day. Griff on camera, are you coming back for the second half? Absolutely. I'll be here, too. Welcome back to beautiful Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hardwick, Vermont. Hazen Union Lady Cats in action today against the Richford Rockets. Hazen up by a score of 2 to nothing. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. We just had a lovely Liz sighting down below us. Good to see her. Our sponsors today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days, breakfast all day. Scoring in the first half, it was Macy Moeller, Macy the male girl, netted the first goal for the Lady Cats to put them up one zip. And then I believe it was Macy that was crossing the ball in front of the Richford goal. And uh, Richford player uh, Cameron Boyce went to make a play on the ball and unfortunately put it by her own goalie, Austin Archambault, to make the score at two zip. But. Highly encouraging the way the Lady Cat girls played that first half. Definitely. they got a lot of possession. Their passes are coming together. They're playing really good defense. Um, every, the whole the whole thing is going really well. Let's see if they can keep it up. Richford in with a record of 2-4. and four. Lady Cats 0-6 looking for that first win. See if they can hang on for this second half. And Jimmy Bellavant still not in attendance down here. Just hasn't been a game without him, has it? Well, you know, I take a win over a Jimmy Bellavant. 
if I really had to. Uh, let's, let me let me rephrase that. It's been a little less entertaining <laughs> with Jimmy's constant commentary below us. Ball over the defense. Joey was trying to get the header on that. Didn't get it. Zoe plays it out. Lily, castle's made of sand. Playing against Richford. There was uh, Emma Raymond back there trying to get that one by. Here's Lily Castle up ahead. Maddie Bartley with a lot of time here. Goes across midfield, drops it over to Aiden Carr. Aiden Carr. Up by through. Varsity Boys, there's getting through there. Cochran. Putting some moves on up front. And we've heard a little chatter from the Varsity Boys over here, and I think that's sort of helped these girls out as well. It's good to see them up here supporting the girls. That is a true chunk. Out by Richard. Zoe heads that one ahead. Free kick for Richford. Trapped down by Carr. Jacobs over here on the near side to Raymond. Jacobs playing against Spartlett. Spartlett backs her up to midfield. Backs her up a little bit more. Boyce up through, gets it to Raymond. Knocked down by Moeller. Moeller taken back out by Steinauer. Christensen plays that one up over her head. Raymond back. Boyce, big kick up the side. Going to trickle out, though. Bartlett with Raymond right on her. Cunningham played that one up. Defense plays it back. Here's Moeller on the attack. Nice play to the middle. Cochran stayed on side for She was offside for a second, but then she came back on. Here's Christensen. Nice pass over to Moeller. Gets the ball by Raymond. Moeller puts the shot on, taken down. Archambault right there. Cochran there as well, waiting for a loose ball. Nice play by the goalie. Austin Archambault. Here's Jacobs. Plays it up. Raymond with a nice move. Joey trying to clear. Aiden Carr up to Madison Bartlett. The Spitfire going across. Moeller comes up the middle. Cochran going to give chase along with Holly Raymond. Blue throw. Christensen going to throw in. Christensen on the throw in. Drops it into Cochran. Cochran looking to play it back. Both girls go down. Going to give a direct kick. Feet got tangled, Cameron Boyce. And uh, Cassidy Cochran got tangled up on that one. Direct kick, almost like a corner, just moved a little bit inside here. Moeller over. Carr got the body on it. Couldn't get it by Archambault, though. Austin Archambault up ahead. Carr goes down hard. 
Elizabeth Snyder and her got feet tangled. Scoop again by Austin Archambault. Christensen coming down with that one. Aiden Carr back up. Jacobs looking to move up through Lily Castle right there. Joey Hall beating that one is out as well. Christensen trying to clear it a little bit more. Jacobs gets the turn. Car over. There's a shot on. Blow. A nice play out by Zoe. Hislop. It's Emma Raymond putting one on net. Cameron Boyce on the throw. Nice throw. Jacob gets that one through. Joey lines up. Back out to the middle. Boyce, cross. That one got by Maverick. Murphy. Here's Moeller with a little bit of room. Carr back up through, was looking for Moeller. Pass intercepted by Riley Steinauer. There's a deep ball. Foot race back. Holly Raymond working against Madison Bartlett's. Gonna have a blue throw. Christensen looking inside. Moeller. Ball's there for the pickings for the shot. Nobody there to take it. Maverick with a nice feed to Moeller. Moeller can't get by the defense, though. Corner kick, Hazen. Over to take it is Aiden Carr with 32 minutes left to go in the match. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats up by a score of 2 nothing. Ball in play. Moeller has it skip under, but there is Alexis Christensen to shoot high. Richford goal kick. Maverick traps that one down. Maverick trying to get the turn. Can't get it. Couldn't quite get the cross. Aiden Carr taking the corner kick. Here's that design play back to Moeller. Moeller back over to Carr. Carr's got room. Shot there, Archambault down. Richford. He gets that one under Zoe's foot. Joey clears back up. Aiden Carr gets it over. There's Christensen looking ahead for Bartlett. Bartlett, nice pass over. Moeller, nice give and go back to Bartlett. Oh. Girls passing well. I thought if Madison would have kept carrying, she might have been able to beat the defense back to get a shot in, but... Instead, she chose to try and get it to Macy. Defense closed in. 
But then again, what do I know, right, Griff? <laughs> Other than a whole ton of uh, Top Gun and Ferris Bueller's Day Off quotes. Hey, you know, everybody's got their talents. Macy Moeller shot on. Scoop save, Archambault. I think my favorite quote that I've used the most from Top Gun. Are you familiar with the movie, right? I don't have it memorized, but I, I've seen it. We'll see what happens here for a moment. Aiden Carr. Up ahead. Cochran. Back, Richford. It's when uh, Maverick and Goose, and they're, they're sort of doing the simulation stuff with the other veteran pilots, you know, at Top Gun. Remember the one named Jester? Uh-huh. And they, they take him out. They, they go below the flight deck, but they get him. And it's, uh, yeehaw, Jester's dead. <laughs> I've used that one a million times. Val Kilmer played a great role in that movie as well. The Iceman. Iceman, yeah. Ice. we got to name somebody Ice out here. Here's Madison Bartlett. She's by the defense. She's going to get in, get a shot on, take it across. Moeller there. She's going to try to Archambault, make the save. Madison, I thought she had another shot there. Pretty good. Bartlett, how's that one bounce off her? Aiden Carr up through. <laughs> Lily Castle with the throw in. Christensen gives chase. Middle of the field. Moeller can't get that one by. Lady Cats with chances here to put themselves up. Just haven't quite been able to get the shot. Kimball, the little red machine. Here's Bartlett. Taken up through by Steinauer. Emma Raymond trying to get that one in. Moeller over to Christensen. Up ahead, Cochran's there. Can't close, though. Archambault. Wow. I'm surprised she kicked that. Madison Bartlett playing up through. Cameron Boyce clears it out. Throw in blue. Maverick Mercy Murphy. The freshman. Throw in. Ball gets by the Richford defender. Here's Moeller bringing it up through. Puts a shot on block down by Raymond. Played back in by Maverick. Here's Richford. Snyder playing over against Zoe. Snyder trying to spin move. Zoe doesn't fall for it. Spin move again, though. Gets around there. Clears. Center. Kimball with the save. The little red machine. Nice punt right to Bartlett. Ball got a little ahead of her. Steinauer there. A 
Lily Castle. You know, the other Lily reference I can make is uh, Pictures of Lily. You know the Who song? Pictures of Lily? Pictures okay. of Lily. All right, all right. I like the Who? Yeah, we'll work the Who and Hendrix in here. Emma Raymond throw in. Wide open there in the middle of the field was uh, number seven. That is Elizabeth Snyder. And Snyder and Carr go down. Snyder still down. <whistles> Referee going to call for stop to play. Snyder and uh, Aiden Carr got tangled up when they were both trying to, I think Snyder trying to put a shot in and Carr trying to clear out. And have a stoppage of play here with 23:49. Well, the clock is still going to run. 23:46 left in the game. Lady Cats up by a score of two to nothing. Take this opportunity once again to thank our sponsors: Willie Store, 5332621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days, breakfast all day. And once again, we want to thank all the sponsors. All the soccer games for this year are sold out for sponsorship. A few slots left for Wildcat and Lady Cat basketball action. We'll be tipping off in December. Contact us at Hardwick Community Television, hctv.us. Remember, you can sell it from Swanton to Singapore via the World Wide Web, which is what Hardwick Community Television is on. Griff on camera. Boyce misplays that one. Madison can get around her, I think. Middle of the field. The giving chase was Raymond. Here's Moeller with Raymond. Raymond clears it out. Taken, kept in, though, by Aiden Carr. Here's Bartlett. Raymond, she is a whirling dervish out there. Ball up through. Cochran and Raymond. Holly Raymond playing over here in the corner. Raymond, spin move. I thought I was saying Raymond a lot, but we've got two of them out there. We've got Emma and uh, Holly. Emma's number six, Holly number 11. Here's Moeller. Shot on just wide. Just wide. Archambault calls off Boyce. Punt, short punt, drops down. Christensen looking for Bartlett. Boyce kept back in nicely by Emma Raymond. Sent over to Jacobs. Jacobs with Carr on her. Cleared out, Joey Hall far up the field, Moeller. Chip over to Bartlett, Bartlett looking again for Moeller. Here's Moeller in, if she can get the foot on it. Goal! Macy Moeller, her second goal of the game, gives the Cats a 3-0 lead, which is 20-48, about halfway through the second half here. Nice move, nice passing once again, Griff. Just what you want to see, a bunch of passes connecting with each other, maybe taking advantage of a slight hiccup in the, in the in defense. The defense yep. and make them pay. And she kept it low and outside. That's right. How many times did we hear that yesterday? <laughs> Zoe up ahead to Aiden Carr. Aiden Carr up ahead to Moeller. Moeller. Ball played up. Lily Castle. Trying to get with that one by Emma Raymond. Throw in. On the line. Chipped out by Jacobs. 
They're going to say it's Richford game. Must have touched uh, Richford's ball. Must have touched uh, Alexis. There we go. The little red machine. Emily Kimball, our freshman goalie, looking, making some veteran-like plays. It's been awesome to see her progression from, from game one to now. We're seven games into the season. I agree, and I think you can also say that about a lot of these players. Yeah. Yeah, you think back to that first game, it was pretty rough. But uh, you definitely can see them coming along. Jacobs playing against Christensen. Jacobs, middle of the field. Two blue shirts right there. Bartlett over in the middle. Moeller picks that one up. Gets it back to Carr. Carr looking ahead to Christensen. Cleared out by Cameron Boyce. Here's Moeller. And again, Cochran, stay on side. You're offside, Cassidy. Bump, Aiden Carr and Jordan Jacobs. Eighteen thirty-four left to go in the match. Cats up three zip. Two goals courtesy of Macy Muller, one goal courtesy of the Richford defense. Cochran underneath, moves it in. Boyce doesn't quite get the kick she wanted. Cochran in there, trying to make something happen. A little bit of confusion. Boyce goes down in a heap. High spinner. Lily Castle, nice play up. Ali Gabbery, not afraid to use her head on that one. That was a hard shot. I'd be seeing stars. Ball lifted up over there on the far side. Throw in. Moeller working against Gagnon. Throw in Quan for the Rockets. Nicole Cunningham moving up through. Over on the far side looking for Lily Schmidt. Ball chipped out by Zoe Hislop. Quan with the throw. Back to Cunningham. Cunningham down. No whistle. Keep playing. Looking up ahead. Here's Moeller. Bartlett. Well, Lance, they always say that the worst injuries are the ones where Nobody hit you, and it didn't look like there was a lot of contact there uh, when the Richford player went down. I was so. going to say, I didn't even notice that until now. Yeah, I don't think anybody else did either. That's why uh, Coach Bissett there was telling his players to try and kick the ball out. That is Nicole Cunningham. Looking like she's in a little bit of pain over there. I didn't even really see what happened, did you? Uh no, I saw her, I want to say she tried to kick the ball away. She was, you know, kind of, um, or maybe she was trying to kick at the ball and kind of 
just fell down, and normally you'd expect somebody to get up from mm. that, but now that's that's not holding it. her knee. No, that doesn't nope. look good at all. So. Let's hope she's okay. Number thirteen, Nicole Cunningham. for the Richford Rockets. Looking like she's in a lot of pain over there on the far side. Fifteen thirty-nine left to go in the match. Lady Cats up three zip. Boys. With Cochran on her. Kicks it out. Blue throw. Clock continues to tick. Definitely on the side of the Lady Cats. As long as they can keep the ball up here for a while. Allie not letting that broken knuckle slow her down at all. She's kind of rolling all over the field out there. Juan on the far side, working against Stanchu. Stanchu up ahead, Moeller. Cassidy Cochran collides. Boyce back to the outside. Steinauer there to collect, moves up the field. Zoe over there with Bethany Conway back up. Quan working on Stanchu. Gabri trying to clear out. Kept back in by Madeline Pike, I believe. Cochran back to Moeller. Lots of room, lots of time. Madison Bartlett, beautiful pass. Ball goes off the side of the foot. Christensen. Ooh, Bartlett goes down hard as Boyce was trying to clear that one out. Here's a throw in, Snyder. Lily Castle, nice play to move in front of the uh, player. The offensive player picked that off. Boyce up through. Joey Hall. Play it down through. Cochran. Working against Holly Raymond, I believe. Yes. Throw in, drops down. Boyce tries to play. Holly Raymond. I call it incidental contact. Raymond got a pretty good lick out on Bartlett. Bartlett gave her one back. The retaliator usually gets caught. 
Oh, man. I don't know who was retaliating and who was the offender. <laughs> it's kind of uh, Ray. I would say Raymond kind of got the first lick in. Oh, I guess no. We're gonna get us kick. Okay, I guess we didn't get cut. I thought we got. I thought they were gonna give him a goal kick or something. Direct kick. I stand corrected. Action bow down. I thought for sure. I saw. I saw Raymond give Madison a little bit of a shove, and then Madison gave her a pretty decent shove back. And I thought they had called it on Madison, but called it on Raymond instead. Maybe for the initial contact. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. That's when we need a Harry Bissett up here to tell us. Nice play through. Christensen looking for Bartlett. By Tao Du. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sorry. We'll go with Du. Ten forty left to go in the game. Lady Cats still up three zip. Bethany Conway in on Steinauer. Steinauer, oh, that one. I don't know if they called a hand or what. Yeah, it sounded like a handball. She might have put a hand up because it was headed for her face, but they need to give Steinauer the kick. Over here to Snyder. Snyder up ahead. Joey. Spinner. Gabri up ahead. Moeller. Moeller looking for Bartlett. Patel, I just heard someone shout. That's number 16, Patel do. Stanchu working on Steinauer. Throw in Conway. Patel over on the far side. Notice our Lady Cats playing with a little more aggression today, too, Griff. Yep, definitely. Um, if, if they're not beating Richford to the ball, they're right there with them, and they're play you hear a lot, play through, play through the ball. And uh, I've seen them do that a lot more this game than in games past. And uh, pretty impressive showing for our Lady Cats thus far with 8.40 left to go in the match and up by a score of 3 to nothing over the Richford Rockets. Here's another attempt by Allie. Uh, not a Pass shot in, this time. Yep, not a shot. Turn, Christensen blocked out by Boyce. Lily Schmidt trying to bring that ball up. Over working over there against Bethany Conway. Here's Moeller. Oh. Dude, couldn't quite get catch up to it. Cameron Boyce moves it up the side. Ball stays in. Christensen gets it underneath. Patel. Christensen played up. Boyce trapped down. Patel playing against Boyce. Here's a little bit of Elizabeth Snyder with the throw in. Action right down here in front of us. This is the way I like it, Griff. They're right down here in front of us. See all these numbers. See the numbers, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully by this stage of the game I kind of know everybody. Do my best. That was Olivia Hatch playing that one up. Christensen plays it out. Throw in Madeline Pike. Nope, we're going to give it to Elizabeth Snyder. She's going to throw it in. Lily Castle has that one go up over her head. 
Joey out there blocking it out. Richford. Emma Raymond up. Puts a shot on. Easy save for the Little Red Machine. Pass over on the far side. Played back here in the middle. Zoe Hislop. Looking over at Moeller. Moeller up ahead. Maddie Bartlett. Nice play to get by Boyce. Moeller lines up. Maddie Bartlett can't get in. Boyce. Boyce out. Ball over on the far side. 5.15 left to go in the game. Carr. Tries to play it up. Christensen tries to come down with that. Lily Castle over here on the near side. Boyce right underneath us. Going up against Aiden Carr. Aiden Carr, a little bit of a shove there. Boyce goes down. Ball goes under Lily Castle. Joey back and try and chip it by. Goes off of Elizabeth Snyder to give Hazen the goal kick. Snyder, shot on, save, Kimball. Man, if we were, you were talking about how, how far Emily can punt the ball out yeah. of the goal, but if she keeps dropping dimes like that right to Macy, yeah. that's even better than being able to kick it really far. Exactly. Cabri on the far side gets the ball up. Boyce back out. Well, ping-ponging around the middle of the field here. There's a long, wide shot. Joey, goal kick, middle of the field, bounces through. Moeller gets the foot on it. Gets it over to Carr. Boyce there to take it out. Boyce goes through Alexis Christensen. Two minutes left to go in the game. Richford looking to make something happen. Boyce. A 
Olivia Hatch trying to move that ball up. Macy Moeller back to Gabbery. Here's Carr. Turn, nice feed over. Gets by Bartlett, though. Here comes Carr again, playing against Boyce. Karen Boyce collided big time out there. Aiden clutching her side. Aiden Carr just completely sacrificed herself oh, on that kick. Couple wow. Of, couple of plays here. Yeah, she's she just hurting big time. Alexis Christensen back out. Snyder inside. Played out by Christensen. Drop down. Jacobs. Less than one minute to play. 50 seconds left to go in the match. Zoe Hislop with authority. Back up. Boyce. Two balls coming at once to Cameron Boyce. Cameron Boyce, long throw, looking for Snyder. Lily Castle with her, out. 25 seconds. Jacobs, Christensen in there, Moeller back. Snyder, down to 10 seconds. Ball over, Jacobs, there's Gabbery clearing back up. And that will do it. Hey, how about that? Our Hayes and Union Lady Cats pick up their first win of the season. Nice crowd. Nice cheer from the home crowd. Winning by a score of 3-0. Two goals by Macy Moeller. One goal by the Richford defense. Gives us the 3-0 victory. Cats, first win of the season. Makes a record 1-7. Drops their uh, Richford's record to 2-5. And, and uh, great, great showing today by our Lady Cats. Wouldn't you say, Griff? That was awesome. That was great. They controlled. Uh, they finished well. They passed well. They were able to play really good defense. Great team effort. Awesome team effort. Everybody's been improving a lot. You can tell. It's really great. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days breakfast all day. We'll see you again uh, next week. Take care. Bye-bye.